Hello everyone. Last time we made such double breasted dress with a collar. Today I'll show you how to make such dress without a collar. You already know how to make a collar and how this dress looks like with it. Today I want to show you how it will look like without the collar. Very long time ago I showed you how to make an unusual stand collar. Watch the video if you haven't done it yet. Such collar will also look really good in this dress. I made a collar with sharp angles, but you can make a collar with round angles. Change the design however you like. Make a dress with a label, but without a collar. When making a dress with a wrap over, you should be absolutely sure about the depth of the neckline. Put the beginning of the measuring tape on the neck base and measure how deep the neckline should be. By doing so, I'm fighting the point where the right and the left detail should cross. I want the neckline to be 14 cm deep. Let's start working. This is where the first button should be attached. This is the center front and this is the shoulder seam. How to find the level from which I should measure 14 cm down? First I need to mark the shoulder seam level. Here it is. Next I need to make the center front longer. Next I need to mark the neck base 8 cm down from the shoulder level. Now I need to draw 14 cm down from this point. This is where the left and the right detail should cross. I don't need this piece of tracing paper anymore. Next I need to draw a neckline. It should start here and go to the shoulder through this point. Now I can start cutting. Guys, I want you to use your imagination. I'm showing you how to change a dress with a collar into the one without it. I didn't want to waste time making another one. I wanted to understand one very important thing. I showed you the sketches of the dresses, with a collar and without it. You can change the designs however you want. Decorate the dress with pockets, flaps, flounces, make different colors. You can also make different necklines. I'm making a dress with a regular simple neckline. I also recommend making such neckline. It will look really good. I told you how you can change the design and decorate the dress. Notice how this dress looks like without a collar. As I've already said, you can make not only dresses, but also blouses, jackets and coats using this technique. Have a look at these parts. Due to the fact that I started drawing the sleeves not from the waistline, but higher, these parts are not too baggy. This is a very useful and convenient technique. I also want to show you how this dress will look like with a belt on the waistline. The dark blue dress wouldn't look good with a belt, but these two dresses with the wrap over look amazing with a belt. I love belts. They not only look good, but also make us look slimmer and taller. Don't think that belts are suitable only for very slim people. Everyone can wear them. I know that a black belt doesn't look good in a blue dress. I remind you that I made this dress just for the tutorial. Notice that the belt makes me look slimmer even in this dress. If you're making a dress without a collar, you can make a small men's style pocket. Sleeves can be as long as you want. You can also make a vent on the back. I've already showed you the three dresses made using this technique. I'll show you many more different designs. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauksh Irina. Subscribe to my channel and write the comments. Thank you. Goodbye.